All right, guys, it's test drive time in a 1967 Cadillac convertible with a 329 cubic inch motor in it. We're gonna take off down the road. I'm gonna point out any kind of flaws I can find. If you have any other questions, give us a call, 615-822-4444, or jump on my website, maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures inside out and underneath, financing information, and transportation information. All right, this one should be fun. We're gonna take this boat down the road. All right, guys, getting ready to take off down the road. I'm gonna show you the miles on it real quick. Let you see that. I can't stand behind the miles, but it's probably correct. So the radio cuts on, it's doing some popping noises, but I can't get any music to play. Couldn't get none of the air controls to work. Um, or the wipers. I'm surprised the wipers weren't working, but the motor might not be hooked up. You look at the power windows, they do work. They're creeping up. We're gonna be taking the top down about halfway through the test drive. That one there, I think the switch is. Hit that switch back there and it goes up and down. The top's kind of holding it from going down. Got some seal issues, and I think that's the main problem with the wind is going down. It needs new seals all the way around the top. The top has been replaced. It is nice on the inside and out. All right. Here we go. Looks like the gas gauge is working. It's kind of floating back and forth between a quarter tank. Our engine tip's coming up. It's right at the first notch. She's still cold right now. Oh man, this thing drives like a Cadillac. Well, somebody almost uh, boo-booed here. I heard a little wind and I noticed the uh, top wasn't clamped down over here. We're gonna clamp that back down. There we go. All right. That may be explaining the gap on the top. Here we go. Tighten up the visors too. Boy, they're not in y'all's way. I tell you what, the steering's nice and tight on this. Speedometer's coming up. And it looks pretty correct. I'm sorry guys, this is, we'll take her, throw her around, how about that? Kick down's hooked up, and the 429 does get down. Turn signals sound like they're working, the brakes feel good, the car's not pulling to the left or right when I hit them. I mean, they stop pretty good too for this big old car. Motor feels strong, it's pulling nice and hard. Got a water rolling around up here. Yellow light. <laughs> Everything's nice and smooth. The steering 
frame was not perfectly centered, I noticed that, and I couldn't get the horn to work. Just making sure I'm pushing it in all the right spots. No, she ain't working. Well, I'm gonna stop in for lunch over here and get mom's meatloaf. And then we'll continue back on this test drive. Blacking it up. All right, just had our lunch. We're gonna take off from here. Do a little bit more driving around. Gonna drop the top. It's a boat. I do hear a little bit of a lifter noise under the hood. I'll show you all that here whenever I pop the hood towards the end of the video. Putting y'all in the driver's seat now. it in a second instead of drive <laughs> yeah, I don't think that road. Don't think that cruise work. <clears throat> Try. Probably not hooked up. Be something. Actually runs and drives really good. Let's see if we can ride around with the top down. It is 58 degrees. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Might do it anyways. Won't have very far to go. You can be okay, right? Do it. Alright guys, 
to let the top down all you do is pull these two side pieces and they unclip from here and then right here this top goes down slow but it does work Well, we ain't got too far to go. So we'll just leave the top down. It ain't too bad out here. It's really not. Uh, 58 ain't bad. No. <laughs> I don't know. Could be worse. There was a big old bump in the parking lot there. I need to start hitting that thing instead of the one on Free Hill. I need to start doing a, a lunch drive as a, like a tradition. That sounds good. So we got that nice other car. We got eight of them to do this week. Eight cars going on this week, guys. Brakes feel good. Overall, running and driving wise, it's pretty nice. Only thing I see with the running and driving is that lifter noise. It can be easy to resolve. It's just real slight. I know a lot of little noises on my GoPro pop up. I mean, and they, they just sound tremendous, but in person, it's, it's pretty slight. It's not very loud. The motor seems to be pulling strong. It's not smoking or anything. Speedometer, all the gauges look like they're working pretty good. You figure out what that wiper problem is. It could be the motor's unplugged. It could be a switch. Mess with that switch again. Look, see if it's getting. A Hot connection. So if you look where we did the walk around video, I did the turn signals, the headlights, the brake lights. So you can see all that. Did all that work? Yeah. It did? Yeah, okay. all of it did. I couldn't tell from in here. Even the reverse lights work. Big bump in the road right here. Of course, it, it rides yeah, over like uh, a Cadillac. Yeah. yeah. I really like these old boat cars, man. They feel good going down the road. Just sway. Check all that out. I got financing information, shipping information. 
Like I said, if that don't answer your questions, give us a call. 615-822-4444. And again, that website's maplemotors.com. Thanks for watching.